I don't know, man. But a I couple mean, of times, I have been tempted to drive all the way out to Las Vegas for In and Out Burger. Last time on the Rising Tide. Oh God, did we? Did you yeah. not believe that? Oh, wrong voice changer. Hold up. God. <laughs> I'm carrying a sleeping Yolka at this point, like one of those baby carrier backpack things. Uh, <laughs> I just have straps that pop out of my chest. The... It's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm awake. I'm... <laughs> Everything is fine. You hear from behind you a dwarf yell out, Tabaxi! Confused? I'm just going to quickly turn around and address the, the dwarf. Racist! He will uh, salute you and then carry on with his patrol. It's Trin, by the way. <laughs> Bye. He doesn't look back. Uh, the smell of mold wine fills the air. In front of him, empty bottles are haphazardly piled. His glass is almost overflowing, definitely overfilled. Room is the fireplace in the corner, burnt down to embers, casting large, flickering shadows on the wall behind all of you. These shadows make Wild Hair look smaller than he really is. Uh, so with the smell of mulled wine, that's gonna wake up you. What? <laughs> what? What is going on? Don't hand me! Steal your hankies and slit your throat. What? What? What is going? Aiden, She's just flailing. Her, I think you can let her let her down now. <laughs> Why is it dark? I smell booze. Why am I restrained? I just tap on the center of like the five point harness and all the belts are tracked and she drops. Like it fly! Plap. Hey, uh, Hestvik. Yes? How, uh, attached are you to that doll? Not very attached. Why? Uh, I just was curious if I could have it. Maybe trade you something for it. No. He just kind of shrugs and hands it over to you and says, it's, it's It is yours. offensive to my people! flailing angrily from her little baby carrier. Oh shit, she's in timeout. He mentions that he has something that he has to take care of and he kind of dips off. We'll meet you back at the end, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just gonna make this a running joke where people just, like, leave you before you have a chance to say bye. Yeah. Um... My name's Trin. When uh, Trin spots a person and starts, you know, beelining for him, Yul's gonna be like, Oh no, that is the person who is missing the five gold, and she'll start to wiggle in her harnesses again. Yoka had a very interesting night last night. No started it. Absolutely. Uh, my name's Leonellis. I didn't quite catch yours. Sorry, it's Trin. Trin Windrider. He, he shakes you your hand. To, you don't manage to get it out in time before he suddenly pulled away. Same with Hespig my says brother. from like across town. His name is Leonellis Windshaper. All right, so something I did not manage to do was to search for hankies while we were in the ship. Yeah, you'll have plenty of time <laughs> to search for hankies. Massive hankies. Oh, yeah. They're massive used to capture hankies. the wind. <laughs> I mean, even smaller, really big hankies were adorning that office. Everything is just a hanky. Shirt's just a hanky with four holes in it. All right, to the jail. Half of the party yeah. to the jail. Let's Batman go. symbol transition. <laughs> Why is sure Mouse were... there? Fred? No, like, as a decoy, Yolka actually stuck Mouse, mouse into the into straps. the straps. <laughs> Fred! <laughs> Give yourself a fuck. That he is insulting to phrases. my figure. <laughs> he knows all of her phrases. Do they have any hankies? I'm going to pat the, the facsimile of Yolka on the head. And, you realize and, it's and too to, small? Uh, a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, like my. Oh. Wait a minute, this is the wrong shape. Oh dear. You breathe prison air for a week and see what it does to your lungs. I can imagine it'd be uncomfortable. Wait. Do you have. <laughs> no, but I can imagine if I did, that would be uncomfortable. I'm gonna pass him the uh, rest of the, the hard tech that I was, you know, breaking off crumbs to, to mouse. He will take it before taking a, a big bite of it. Locking eyes with mouth, <laughs> chewing slowly and deliberately. Oh, that's such a dick move. Hey, uh, Yoka, uh, do you know where Mouse went? I have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. Yes, how can how can I help you? Says the uh, human behind the counter. Hi, I was looking for something uh, that might be unique to this region. Um, a bolt of cloth. Uh, my sister is a tailor back home in Ermia. Sure. You said you wanted it to be unique to this region? Yeah, something that uh, she wouldn't find normally. Something that she can... Careful, she might hand you with. a bolt of butter! Uh, yeah, preferably uh, not butter-laden. I think I've had my fill. People tend to leave this town a little more lactose intolerant than when they got here. <laughs> I am 
haggling. This is how you haggle, by being cute. Oh, thank heavens, Trin, we found you. He's been quite, um, fussy. I'll, I'll, I'll unclasp the, the straps. Bye, everybody. Have fun. Oh, no. Secret DM talks. We need to play in some shenanigans while he's gone. All right, so 250 goes into the party bag. I know it's adventuring party, but I can't help but to think that that is like your booze and cups and plates and snack food fund. Part of me almost wants to use silent image to kind of create my own butter sculpture that's just like super elaborate. Fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's just a self-portrait of Miriam, like holding yes. her hand out, and there's like a thin line of butter that's connected to a giant ball of fire at the end, and she, her hair is waving in the breeze, and you can see each individual strand of her hair. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Most judging time, Miriam makes that statue. The judges are walking through, looking at each statue. They get to Miriam's. Wow! When they uh, crank the anchor up out of the water, it's Hestvig attached to the anchor. Of snow butter. As you guys are roughly 400 yards out, you hear a loud explosion, and you see smoke rise into the air. Um, uh, that wasn't us. That was not you. Did I leave the oven on? I swear, most of them I did not do it. Yeah, their attention snaps back to the to the explosion, and they all are surprised. This is not something they expected. No one expects the Dwarf Inquisition. Also, do all dwarves know about explosives, or is that racist? 